Okay, this is your video on the phases of collapse. A little bit different than the actual forms of collapse. Uh, these are some of the uh, things that happen leading up to a collapse occurring. So first, uh, you're going to have tension. Anytime you open up soil, uh, you're going to create a change in that homeostasis. It's going to result in tension. You know, gravity is acting on the soil, uh, trying to make some changes. Uh, as the moisture level changes because drying out or rain, you're going to get tension that way. You're going to weaken the cohesion. Uh, tension eventually results in cracks in the soil, either on the surface or below grade. According to the OSHA technical manual, uh, tension cracks usually form at a horizontal distance of 0.5 to 0.75 times the depth of the trench measured from the top of the vertical face of the trench. So uh, here you're just watching me kind of illustrate uh, the effect of uh, a tension cracking. Um, the next phase, so that's tension, that's the first phase. The next phase is uh, movement. With uh, movement, uh, deformations in soil from increasingly imbalanced pressures uh, you know, start to actually change the soil physically uh, to the point where it becomes visible. Now it's fairly minimal um, uh, most likely not going to be observed by you know your average uh, construction person. Okay, here as I'm illustrating, I've uh, made it a little bit easier to to identify. Obviously, so uh, one of the things that's going to happen is the soil uh, surface is going to change level. That's called subsidence. Okay, this is when uh, the the soil uh, fairly close uh, to the uh, trench opening will actually sink. Now that can occur with or without bulging. Um, it can just compress and sink where you really don't have a bulge, but uh, a lot of times you're going to also get bulging. Bulging is another form of movement uh, that indicates collapse. It's one of those things you want to look for if you're teaching a trench class or working around a trench. You, know, you want to observe the trench walls for subsidence and bulging. Uh, if there hasn't been a collapse, those are signs that a collapse is impending. Okay, um, another There is another form of movement, and that movement is called... Um, bottom heaving. In bottom heaving, uh, pushing up of the soil at the trench floor, uh, you know, results from all that significant pressure. You know, pushing down uh, the the trench floor is weakened uh, more so than the trench walls in this case. Um, you know, by moisture or by some other means, uh, you know, might just be inherently weak at that level of of uh, depth and uh, it pushes up. Some experts classify this condition uh, as a form of collapse known as compression collapse. Okay. Another form of movement is boiling. Uh, boiling, um, here we're still uh, watching the, uh, the bottom heaving. <laughs> Figure the illustrations would be a little bit better than just a dry, you know, slideshow. So, <clears throat> another form of moon is boiling. Boiling happens uh, when the trench has been cut, for the most part, into a uh, um, water table, and uh, you know maybe there wasn't uh, water in there initially, but you know. Uh, over time, the uh, water seeps in, uh, begins to uh, push up the trench floor, uh, as well as uh, you know, uh, create a saturated condition down there. Uh, of course, when that happens, uh, you know, you're weakening the support of the trench walls, and yep, it's an impending warning sign of collapse. Now, the third phase leading up to collapse is actually collapse. So. This is more uh, the means of collapse, uh, more than a uh, phase leading up to. But uh, you basically have uh, two means by which collapse is going to occur. <coughs> so uh, either the collapse will occur gradually or it's going to occur catastrophically. Um, but it's either going to occur because of toppling. Toppling occurs when the trench's vertical face shears along the tension crack line and topples into the excavation. Now, um, more accurately, toppling is a forward rotation out of the slope uh, of a mass of soil and rock, also uh, about a point of axis. So uh, here, you know, I've put uh, you know the red dot into my illustration here. Um, you know, kind of showing you how the 
the collapse, and it could be, you know, that uh, point could be at anywhere in the trench wall. Uh, it could be at the very base where the floor meets the, the toe. Uh, typically, the belly of the trench is the weaker area of the trench. So here I, I threw that dot there just to kind of show you. So here, you know, the toe, uh, the toe is staying strong, but uh, it's pivoting from that, that weak point in the wall, and it all kind of uh, moves on that. It kind of acts as a point of axis for the collapse. And you see how gravity just takes it. So another form is called sliding or s sloughing. That's common what we hear. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing because there is a type of collapse um, uh, with the same name. Uh, however, you know, as a means of collapse, uh, this is just where you know the down. It's a down sloping movement of the soil. Um, you know the cohesion is weakened, um, and different from a pivot point or an axis point where it kind of topples in. Uh, you can kind of think of this as like uh, when the soil. You know when you have a spoil pile, that you know the soil will try to attain that. Uh, you know that uh, you know, nice desired angle of slope. Okay, that angle of repose. Um, here, the soil, as cohesion breaks down, uh, the soil is, uh, you know, sliding down into the trench. Uh, again, can be catastrophic, or it can occur, uh, you know, gradually. You know, factors that contribute to soil collapse include, uh, you know, soil activity, you know, vibration, hydrostatic pressure, environment or factors, uh, the amount of freestanding time. Um, you know, all those things are going to uh, going to play a part. You know, soil activity includes a soil's uh, kinematic propensity for movement. Um, you know, it wants to go. Uh, gravity's working on it. Uh, time is all it needs. You know, eventually, at some point, a, you know, any open trench is going to collapse. Um, you know, if left uh, continually subject to environmental factors. Uh, you know, gravity, hydrostatic pressures. All right, so here we have just a review. So you have your tension cracking. Your first uh, forms of movement, subsidence and bulging. That bottom heaving, boiling, of course you're toppling, pivoting on that axis, and then again you have your, uh, your sliding and sloughing. All right, well this has been Jason Hankins again with the Trench Review. This is the phases of collapse. Please don't confuse them with the uh, types of collapse, uh, you know, shear wall collapse, uh, etc. Um, we'll, uh, we'll make another video for that. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of illustration.